And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arcane Static and welcome back to another Sunday Tea. I've been getting up early enough in the past several Sundays that the cafe that I like to go to isn't open when I'm ready to start filming. So I'm gonna do them in my house when I get early, get up that early. This light is awkward. Today we are drinking an orange ginger black tea blend, which is fantastic. Uh, I got it at Lupicia, and it will be one of the teas that is in next month's giveaway. February sucked. There's something about February that just didn't do it for me, you know? Like, I, I couldn't keep up to a schedule. I, like, I would get home and fall asleep at, like, 9 o'clock and not get any work done. I've not been able to put out, like, the quality kind of content that I like to be able to put out because February kicked my ass. I don't know why. It's, it's lame, and I'm sorry that my, my February has not been as good as it ought to have been. But uh, if I have any say about it, now that March is here and I'm finally officially off work for a while, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a backlog of, of videos so that I can more easily work on the like featured content stuff, like the Alpha Dreadfuls, the uh, Deity Salads, the list videos, and that kind of stuff starting with this week so tomorrow which is monday i have a dentist appointment that's probably going to fuck up one of my front teeth here and it's going to look weird for a little while but i'm going to see if there's a way to make it not look weird because i have to get a root canal up here and uh, because a dentist that i worked with in america six years ago apparently when she did the the filling for that tooth she didn't get the cavity out she just like slapped some paste on top of it so now there's been just cavity inside of that tooth for like six years so that sucked so i'm gonna have to get that done fortunately japan has socialized medicine which means that i can actually get root canals done like i've had one here i'm in the process of getting one here and I'm gonna need this one done as well. And all three of them together are gonna cost like less than a third of what one root canal costs in America. So I'm really happy that I have the insurance that allows me to do that because I live in a country where it's mandatory to have socialized insurance and basically free healthcare, which is amazing. I'm going to make just like a bunch of cooking videos right off the bat and like schedule them out so that I have them all the right way because and like especially in February I don't know why but like it was Thursday come home from work try to do a cooking video fail at doing the cooking video fall asleep speaking of giveaways I've got three active patrons this month I've got John Scott and Michael so let's see how the thing goes down so John's gonna be 1-2, Scott's gonna be 3-4, and Michael's gonna be 5-6. Let's see how it goes. Hm, not bad. Bang. There we go. Uh, so that is the indicator that says that John, you win this month's giveaway. Good job. Well done. Fantastic on being favored by chance. Yes, anyway. So John, uh, I will send you a message on Patreon so that I can get your address. If I don't already have it, I don't remember. If I do, I don't think I do. Uh, and then I will send you that package. So next month's uh, giveaway is going to be a tea set. It's going to be two or three delicious teas, plus a tea strainer and possibly a tea cup if I can fit everything in the box the right way. Uh, and I'm going to, to hand choose the teas because they're fantastic and I am uh, I like to think of myself as a connoisseur of teas. I have been on the fence a little bit recently regarding what kind of stuff I need to be putting out because I've been putting out a lot of like one-shot games like I played uh, Oracle played Oracle Oracle is a walking simulator that I played and put up a couple days ago and like it's beautiful to look at but it's not a fucking game because there's nothing in the like in order for something to be a game you have to have an objective in that game in order to, to count as a game otherwise it's an experience and that's pretty much it you can watch a movie because there's no 
goal for you to meet when you're watching a movie, except for that the movie is now over. But as soon as there becomes an objective that you can actively participate in, in that thing, then it becomes a game. And Oracle is missing that. Oracle is a walking simulator. It's not a game, it's just an interactive nothing. It's a brilliantly crafted, well, like, looking pretty nothing, but it is indeed a nothing. <laughs> I paid $2 for it, and it's not like I regret the $2 because I did enjoy the time spent walking around in it, but at the same time, it's also like, Jesus Christ, give me something to do in this game. Also, there's a big, like, house up on top of the mountains, and you can't get to the house, but you can get to most other places. So what's the point of having the house there if you can't get to it? Christ! But yeah, so I'm thinking... What do you guys think? Should I try to do more, like, long plays of games? Or should I try to do more, like, a series that beginning of game all the way to end of game then be done? Or d is it cool that I've been doing, like, a bunch of one-shots in addition to things like Seduce Me the Otome and, uh, Syrup in the Ultimate Suite? And also, if I've done a video for Alpha Dreadful, then would you guys still want to watch me play that game in a normal series? Like, I really want to play more Poi, or something like that, but I don't know if you guys would want to watch me play it, because you've already seen the review that I've done on it. We're back to having D&D this week, which is great. Our GM and his lady have come back from Okinawa, and so now we're gaining another player in addition, which means we're going to have six people. So if everything is as it goes, we'll have Bard, War Priest, Healer Priest, Sorcerer, Monk, and Barbarian. I don't know how all that's gonna fit together. Like, the, the bigger the party gets and the more varied it gets, the more Atlas, the Bard character, might just be like, this might not be working out for me right now. I don't know if I wanna get mixed in with all these kind of people, especially because the Barbarian, of course, is gonna be a half-orc. And those are weird in this society. I mean, we already chilled with the tiefling for a little while, and he wasn't really chill with that, because while he isn't racist against them, he knows that everyone else is racist against them, so he didn't want to hang out with them for fear that he would get lumped in with them. I have my great-grandmother's old box of recipes, and it's this fantastic, like, box full of, like, handwritten note cards and, like, things clipped out of really old newspapers and stuff like that for, like, recipes and things. So I'm gonna go through some of those and see if I can't find some really fun recipes to do that might also be easy. But then again, being that they've come from my grandmother, who was born in, like, 1930-something, my great-grandmother, uh, the chances are that they're all gonna be, like, slave over the oven for 17 hours while your husband goes out and makes all the money. I am going to try to do some collaboration videos with Smiling Snake, uh, the gentleman about whom I, or rather, the gentleman with whom I have done one collaboration already, the Rosen Maiden video, and who I helped to edit his first video about collecting iron sand from the beach, which is rad, like super cool science. Um, but I'm gonna see if we can't do some more stuff with him, specifically maybe some cooking videos, because he's also a pretty good food smith. I'm having a lot of fun playing these visual novels, but I wonder if they're actually interesting to watch when I'm playing them, as opposed to you just going and playing them yourself. Um, for, like, Seduce Me right now, I'm, like, I, I recorded four episodes of it yesterday because I just could not stop playing it because it was so good. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. And, and the story is rad and, like, some stuff goes down. And I can't tell you because it would be spoilers, but some stuff goes down. And, and I love it, and it's a good game, but I don't know if you guys enjoy watching someone else play a, a primarily story-based, text-based game. If there is, like, a genre of game or some other kind of stuff that you'd like me to be able to do more of, please tell me. Please give me, like, uh, suggestions for games to play. Like, if you've seen someone else play the game and you want me to play it as well or something like that, that's also okay. I'm definitely willing to do games that other people have done as well, because I don't care. It's not that big a deal. Um, but, you know, that kind of stuff has been on my mind a lot recently. You know, because I want to be able to make the best kind of content for you guys, because 
YouTube isn't a job for me, it's something that I do because I like doing it and I want you guys to be able to like it as well. Because if it's just me that's liking it, then it's the most, like, hedonistic, narcissistic thing that I could possibly do. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed the Sunday tea, it was kind of just me rambling a lot about dumb stuff. But, I don't know, maybe the dumb stuff is what you guys like about me. I am kinda dumb. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, the like and subscribe buttons are waiting just below the video to give you a nice steaming hot cup of tea. You can also follow my socials, that's the Facebook and Twitter that are down in the description box. And as always, you can follow my Patreon link down there as well to throw me some support and get in on those giveaways that I was talking about as well. Thank you guys again very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.